What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City Four, and today, people, I will be talking about Call of Duty World War II the trailer reveal. If you guys didn't see the live stream yesterday, you guys missed out on a lot, a lot of details, a lot of details about the multiplayer, also because it was being shown on the live stream, like for half a millisecond or something. But there's maybe like around 30 seconds of footage of multiplayer. Like it was difficult to capture because it was like a second and bam, it moved on to the next screenshot. So it's difficult to capture, but on Twitter, you guys can already see every single details about the multiplayer already. So you can you guys can already spot some weapons. You guys can already spot how the movement works and all that stuff because there was like a guy in the background playing multiplayer like for a second and you can you guys can already tell how the movement's going to be. So it's going to be very interesting to play the multiplayer, man. I'm telling you, it's going to be a big hype. And, and by the way, guys, the multiplayer will be revealed on June 13th through June 15th. So do not miss out. It's just one more month, guys. This, you know, reveal trailer was not a big L. At least they're announcing when the multiplayer is going to be. Unlike the other years where they just left on a, left us in the dark and make us follow a Snapchat like Black Ops 3. So uh, at least we know when the multiplayer is going to be shown. So that's good, man. I cannot wait for the multiplayer to be shown because you guys know me. I just play multiplayer 24 7 and go into pop stuff and all that stuff and also there is a lot of modes being announced for the multiplayer especially the hq one so apparently everybody's gonna be like in a big ass lobby like a 60 player lobby and it's gonna be uh there's gonna be like a trade market and all that stuff something that we've been asking for since call of duty advanced warfare like um i'm pretty sure a lot of people did not collect like their clothes like their whole set and I remember Fisticuffs and Only Use Me Blade and several other Call of Duty YouTubers asking for this mode, like a trading post or something. And uh, they're finally giving it to us. That's that's a good thing. You know, this should have happened in Advanced Warfare, but eh, I guess, you know, uh, Call of Duty World at War 2 is not going to be a bad, you know, idea to, infl uh, in, in, you know, put it in there for. So it's not a bad idea. So anyways. Um, another thing I would like to talk about will be the story mode. It's pretty much looking pretty much well. You know, it's not that bad. The graphics, the cutscenes were pretty good. And I told you guys the trailer review is just going to be the story mode. I said it a long time ago. Sorry, sorry for being a Debbie Downer, but, uh, you know, it, it's true. I mean, you guys should have noticed this since a long time ago. And uh, you guys should have searched up the previous review trailers. It was all about the story mode all the time it's always been about the story mode and of course the graphics i mean it looks nice but the thing is these are cutscenes. but at some points in the whole trailer you should be able to see um you know a little bit of the, the, the multiplayer like for a millisecond so it's it still looks pretty decent i mean it's not a, that that bad for a next gen game for the ps4 and the xbox xbox one era so um it's gonna be looking pretty sweet on the graphics side um another thing the story mode looks pretty much uh aggressive i'm not sure if that's the right term to like, kind of describe this you know this story mode but like it looks pretty much nice to like uh to play on you know world at war uh had a decent story mode it looked very impacting and uh, i remember you know every single detail of it i played along with my brother you know because you can play it uh co-op back in the day in world at war and it was pretty much awesome reviving each other and all that stuff it was pretty much awesome and uh, i cannot wait to see more uh what can we expect from this situation or this story mode and uh you know we already saw some of the characters too being revealed to us and it, it, it's a big it's a big deal you know because a lot of people play the game for the story mode and some other people play for the multiplayer so it's kind of like a 50 50 split here and also for the zombies so i guess like a 30 30 percent split you know a lot of fan play so you know we, we do have a lot of different kind of people here in this community for call of duty so um, another thing is the zombies people the zombies will be announced pretty soon there was no details on it so that's kind of a a bummer for those zombie players you know that like to play zombies 24 7 i still don't get it like for reals i'm hoping for it to be like different compared to treyarch because you know treyarch has this like uh let me throw you in there into a different map and you can do whatever the hell you want with whatever players you want hopefully this time we can be assigned with like with roles and all that stuff you know kind of like uh you know a healer with an attacker a scout or uh you know a mechanic or something like that like it will be better if we can get roles instead of just like throwing us in the game and just be puppets and like be like uh just a random ass person doing whatever the hell you want like i want to be a little bit limited and make it look like uh like more fear you know have us you know have have us make us look like we have fear in the game that's what i wanted to look in the zombies like i don't want to put it all down but like it needs to step up it needs to move on away from whatever the hell they're doing in treyarch and be its own self uh game like improve on it don't copy treyarch just move on to like 
more into details into that game into that game mode because a lot of people want something different on it so the zombie modes i mean hopefully it gets good the story mode for sure looks pretty much well done it looks kind of similar to battlefield one and um a lot of people are already claiming that uh, you know call of duty the reason why they're doing this is because they want to complete with battlefield one which is kind of true i mean they literally stole the title under the freaking Battlefield 1, to be honest. Battlefield 1, the problem with that is just that uh, they they messed up on the title. To be honest, they messed up so bad on the title that Call of Duty is going to get an advantage on that. But uh, I'm not saying that Call of Duty is better. I'm just saying that they shouldn't name Battlefield 1 something else. Like, that's, that's where they messed up so bad. But anyways, um, do I think that Call of Duty World War 2 will be better than Battlefield 1? I think it's up to y'all's taste. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna touch that topic. Maybe I will in the future, but like not right now, man. Because I know a lot of people are gonna give me some heat. So <laughs> it's not the first time though. But I like you guys get the point. Like I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> a lot of people are gonna start hitting at me. So uh, so yeah, man. Uh, what is another thing I want to talk about? The weapons. I mean, you know what you can expect from a World War II game. Uh, the maps for sure are gonna be good. Uh, for sure, it's gonna be a lot of details, a lot of trenches, a lot of open field um also there's gonna be a war game mode or something like that i forgot what's called but there's gonna be like uh you're gonna be able to drive vehicles apparently so that's something to really look forward to it's gonna be like kind of like a conquest going on like battlefield one so i'm glad they're stepping up the multiplayer game and giving us different looks and instead of the original search and destroy and team deathmatch and domination they're gonna give us more than that they're gonna give us like drivable vehicles and all that stuff that we, that we kind of missed from uh you know world at war because at world at war you can drive around tanks i'm not sure you guys remember that but that's one thing you could have done back in the day but uh they're hopefully they bring that back that's gonna be badass to do to be honest and i know it's gonna be difficult to take out that take down tanks since you know pretty much you're just a soldier with a bunch of grenades you know tank grenades and panzerhurst um it's gonna be quite difficult to take down a tank but uh, if you work together of course you should be able to have no problem taking out tanks and all that stuff because uh you know you gotta work as a unit not just like fuck everybody else and go in rogue mode and just go rack up some kills and go oh, calling kill streaks like people gotta work together man at some point but you know you guys know call of duty players they just don't um what's another thing i want to talk about that's pretty much it you know multiplayer story mode you know trailer pretty much revealed good amount of stuff and um i think i want to give the trailer a 7 out of 10 i mean they could have done, done a little bit better but uh, apparently it was just all cutscenes but like i said before it was gonna be the story mode just being revealed <laughs> a lot of people don't believe me but uh, yeah man i keep calling all this stuff and it happens so that is it people so i want to talk about today what are your thoughts about this trailer and the reveal on the whole live stream you know what do you guys think about this game modes the new game modes like the the tanks and all that stuff and also the hq mode like that's going to be something cool to play around with like that's going to be pretty good man i cannot wait to like jump in into all these new ideas that michael Condry has put out for us so um so yeah that is it guys leave a like on the video that i'll appreciate that, that a lot you know uh hopefully i can grow from um from this again because i cannot wait to play call of duty it's been a while for me it's been a while since I last played a boots on the ground game uh, for, with Call of Duty and all that stuff. So uh, I cannot wait. So that is it, people. Make sure you subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty World War II.